In the far-flung northern reaches of India lies the stunning region of Ladakh, known for its rugged beauty and unique culture. But among its many hidden gems is a village few have heard of, Turtuk. Turtuk is a small, remote village located in the Nubra Valley, close to the border with Pakistan. Despite its remote location, Turtuk has a rich history and a vibrant community. Turtuk was once a part of Pakistan, but after the Indo-Pakistan War of 1971, it became part of India, resulting in a unique blend of cultures with elements of both Palti and Ladakhi traditions present in the village. One such tradition is the tradition of stone pottery, which has been passed down for generations. For Gulam Muhammad, stone pottery is more than just a job. It's a passion passed down through his family for centuries. Creating a stone pot is a labor of love that can take weeks, even months to complete. Each piece is unique and requires a skilled hand to bring out its beauty. The finished product is not only beautiful, but also practical. This process begins with the hunt to find the right kind of stone. The <laughs> The next step is to sort out the correct dimension for a particular piece. It is very labor intensive and it is solely done with a chisel and a hammer. No machinery is involved in the process. It requires a lot of patience and dedication and is very labor intensive. <laughs> Gulam Muhammad is one of the last surviving stone pot artists in Ladakh and he has no plans to give up this ancient art form. He is determined to pass on his skills to the next generation and keep this tradition alive for years. Preserving and promoting the dying art of stone pot making will not only safeguard a valuable cultural heritage, but also generate economic opportunities for talented young professionals. <laughs>